Tonight we are having dinner at the Hollywood Brown Derby. This is actually like our Valentine's dinner because Josh was away last week. <laughs> and our server was actually our server last time we were here about a year and a half ago when we dined with an Imagineer. You might notice already it is a little bit loud in here. It is a very open restaurant, but it's actually very nice. It has a lot of pictures of famous people that are like caricatures that have been drawn and put up all over the walls. And if you did know that this is actually themed after the one that's in California. One of the main things here is the cob salad, which I'm gonna get as an appetizer, not as my entree. Oh yeah, they are famous for their grapefruit cake. I don't remember liking it that much. Bread surface is coming. And I think the butter was pretty good last time. I can feel the heat coming through the napkin for the rolls. That's a good sign. Oh, they're actually like, they're so hot they're burning my fingers. <laughs> butter spreadability. My guess it's pretty spreadable. There was somebody that commented on one of our YouTube videos, on one of our videos. Yeah, YouTube videos. Comment on one of our videos, it was a dining review, that said that I take too big of pieces of butter and that's why it doesn't spread. If it's cold, it doesn't matter how thin you slice it, it ain't gonna spread very well. This is a very whipped butter. And it has a Hawaiian sea salt on top. Oh, fantastic. These are my kind of rolls. They literally are so warm that they are burning my fingers. See now, whenever they do have cold butter, this is the way they need to serve the bread, like piping hot. That way it will spread. I love when they put good salt on top of the butter. This is probably some of the best bread and butter we've had. These rolls are so fresh. And the Hawaiian sea salt in that butter is awesome. Well, one thing when you come to the Hollywood Brown Derby here at Hollywood Studios, you should at least try to get the Cobb salad. Now the, the difference here with the Cobb salad compared to any other place, is that they actually do it the way that the cop salad was intended to be made, which is everything is finely chopped. Everything. The lettuce, to the tomatoes, to the meats, to the cheese, everything is finely chopped. So I also just got this little card that gives the list of everything that is in the cop salad and basically how to prepare it. It basically has blue cheese, avocado, iceberg lettuce, ham, eggs, bacon, tomatoes, chives, oh, turkey. Did I say chicken? No, oh, you just okay. didn't say turkey. Oh, okay. If you don't like everything chopped up, it might be like a texture thing for you. So good, super fresh. There is a uh, taste of the blue cheese in there, uh, which doesn't necessarily overpower the salad, but adds a good amount of flavor to it. And then you get everything mixed up really well. One thing that I like about this is that with like a traditional salad, this does not require a lot of salad dressing because everything is so finely chopped for the dressing to be able to cover and coat. And so then you don't have like these big chunks that are either over dressed with the dressing or under dressed with the dressing. Highly recommend you at least try it one time. And Uncle Jim, just for you, we got another basket of bread. <laughs> All right, so I've gotten the Chio Pino, which comes with black grouper and lobster. This is not what I was expecting. I thought the uh, lobster and the black grouper would be kind of diced or cut up and mixed in with the chicken already, but it's not. Mussels over a bed of couscous with some veggies. Oh, it's got a little bit of heat in it. And I actually got a similar dish when we were at the Wave. Not a very large portion of the fish. That black grouper is phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Has great flavor. Seasoned extremely well. The lobster. The lobster's good. I think I could eat the rest of this tail. Taylor's not going to like that. So I got the char-grilled filet of beef. It comes with a, I believe it's a red wine sauce, creamy mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and then there's a butter on top of it as well. Oop, I just lost my butter. 
It looks perfect. This filet is perfect. I think I've said this before, but I love red wine sauce with my filet. I don't know if I like Brussels sprouts because I've actually never tried them before, so I guess we're about to find out what I think. It's all right. I'd prefer asparagus. Definitely would recommend getting the Chiapino. It's a good seafood dish. I always like to try to balance out with what Taylor gets, which she always gets steak. And I always try to get a fish dish. You can also get chicken. Basically, all the signature restaurants on property are going to have similar menus. And when I say similar, I mean they're always going to have a steak or beef. They're always going to have a fish. They're always going to have a chicken and a vegetarian option. I always go with the fish. It tends to be a little bit lighter, but this is a little bit heartier on the lighter side, which I enjoy. So it's good. Here is the damage. Um, <laughs> so we actually passed on dessert. We have uh, Taylor got the filet. I got the cob salad and the grouper. For a while, it was a Covencino, or the Chiapino. The Chiapino, but uh, they marked it as a grouper. So we did use an annual pass discount. We got 10% off. 106 before the tip, and we always usually leave at least 20%. So 120 uh, will be the total. So Taylor's walking away from me. No, I'm not. Anyway, so Brown Derby review. Uh, I think overall, it's a, it's a good restaurant. The yeah. food is fantastic. Oh yeah, our food was delicious. I will say, I think that it is slightly overpriced, I think. But it's considered a signature restaurant. It, it, yeah, it is. So they're normally a little higher priced. They are. And I mean, and the food's good. The service was good. We had a, a very good server. We did skip out on the dessert. We were just super full. We filled way up. We were. We filled up on the bread which we shouldn't have. Have you guys eaten at the Hollywood Brown Derby before? Comment down below, let us know what you thought. Dining review over. Bye.